Well, hello everyone and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. Yeah, I know. A little late. <laughs> this is what I all colored and a couple diamond paintings that I got done this last month. So, let's start with the coloring. So, I did a picture out of Lisa's garden. This is by Belba Family. Square mandalas, patterns, and more. You know, I love these three by three uh, books. And this is the one I did. This is, of course, with my Arteza ink on it. So, little bird cage. Two new circulism art books that came out this past month absolutely have fallen in love with them <laughs> so this is pepilio which means butterfly specifically i believe the swallowtail butterfly species so yeah got a quite a few uh done in here this is with copics look at the colors so pretty. Yes, Copics again. I think these might all be Copics, but I will double check just to make sure if, yep, Copics. Now, I did say um, when I did a flip through of these, they did have all these as pink also. I changed it to red. I coordinated it with a color from inside the picture just to kind of outline the butterfly rather than having all the pink I liked having it outlined so that's what I did I changed it up a little here I did a yellow outline kind of bringing out the yellow from inside the butterfly so again that was with Copics love the blues in the background lot of yellow and orange in this one again with Copics now this one had a black outline so I did just leave the red that they had look at that beautiful swallowtail I don't even have that one marked so I'm assuming again Copics isn't that pretty Again, love the background. These I did with the Art and Fly. Um, I believe this is right after I had gotten the Art and Fly. So right away I matched up the Art and Fly colors to a number of my color by number books. And of course, Circulism. The Circulism series of books was one <laughs> that I did match up the colors. Another pretty one with the Art and Fly markers. Alcohol markers just work so awesome in these books. Another one, love the background of, and yes, another one with Art and Fly. Water-based markers do also work really good on this paper, but I just prefer alcohol markers over water-based I should figure out some of my water-based markers to the colors though because I have some big sets that are brush tip on one end, fine liner on the other, and I've just been using the fine liner end. But a couple of those are like 120 and ZSCM is a 160 set, so should be able to match up the colors pretty good. So I might do that. So again, that was Pepilio. The other one I fell in love with was Wild Flower. Now this is the more detailed book, uh, Circulism Art Book. I think this is the most detailed one that they have come out with up to this point, but they're so pretty. They do take a little bit longer to do, but they're just gorgeous. Did this with my Ohuhu brush markers. Isn't that gorgeous? They do leave some white in here, which I really like. 
these with the teeny white dotted lines really got to be careful when you color in those little circles um, because even though alcohol marker does not bleed much on this paper at all it does bleed just a little bit enough so that you do have to be a little careful again with the ohuhu brush markers did this one. Oh, hoo hoo. A lot of times when I have a coloring supply out, like an alcohol marker set, I just keep going in that book with that same marker rather than hauling out another set and putting that set away. So these will probably all be oh, hoo hoo. Now, this is when I got the art and fly out again. <laughs> so pretty. And Art and Fly. Look at all the colors and those flowers. And again, by Art and Fly. Love that. So, yeah, this will, these last two books will definitely be books I'm going to color more out of. Then, out of Prachi Dewan Saj Deva's. Valentine Ceramic Tiles, Color by Number book. Love her ceramic tiles books. They're just so easy and fun to color. So we have all these Valentine pictures. And I colored this one. Look at our cute, adorable bear holding on that heart. Love the pastel colors in the background. Isn't that pretty? And these are with the Art and Fly. So I figured out the colors to um, the Sachdeva's coloring books because the color palette is the same for both Prachi Dewan Sachdeva and Sach and Sachdeva's color by number books. So that's what I did in there. Now, Sonia Rai, I've been showing quite a few of her coloring books. Uh, she has a lot of mosaic squares, color by number. Now, these are 4 by 4 whereas Belba Family and Sach and Sach Deva's square books are 3 by 3 So these are just a tad bigger. So, I did this one. Isn't that adorable? Giving her a flower, and he's down on bended knee. And again, with my ink onyx. So even though the squares are a little bit bigger, so the bigger the square, the more pixelated it'll be. This still turned out adorable. I love it. Then another book in that series is Baby Animals. And I did this one. Now, <laughs> because... The browns are so similar. I didn't have browns to match up the colors real well. The little baby bear did kind of, you know, they're it, real similar to the building behind. So it's a little bit difficult to pick him out. But I think if I figure out colors uh, with a different fine liner, I may be able to get the correct colors. So, that one. Belba Family's new coloring book in the Puzzle Color by Number series. This is Kawaii. It is the beginning series or beginner series. So, there is no background that you have to do in here. And I did this one with the high heels. So, the advanced type of books you would be having to do the entire background also but this beginner series yeah you just do the item itself and again this was with my ink onyx from sun life drawing right yeah <laughs> we have day patterns color by number did a couple in here. Isn't that pretty? Love the colors in here. 
and I did figure out my art and fly <laughs> markers for Sun Life Drawing also. And then I did this one. Look at those bright, bold colors. Love the orange and the purple contrasting colors. And again, this is with the Art and Fly markers. Wanted to give one of Jade Summer's books um, a little bit of love. I haven't colored out of one of their books for a while. This is stained glass patterns. So this is not color by number. And I did do this in a color and chat. And this was with the Artix markers. Um, I had gotten most of it done any color and chat. I wasn't sure what I was going to do in the corners, if I was going to do the pastel colors from the background, or if I was going to make them bright and bold. I decided to go with the bright and bold colors because the rest of this I decided I was going to do the pastels. So again, I wanted the corners to contrast with the background. So this is how that turned out. I do like it. Um, not real. Well, no. I think the, the pastels look okay with it. Another Circulism art book. Yeah, I've really been on a kick with these this month. <laughs> this is Mandala. Did color and chat out of here. And did this one. This was with Tombos. Yeah, so you can see water-based markers work really well on this paper also. Then I actually got through two pictures for the color and chat. So we did this one. Love the color palette in this. The blues and that bright yellow-orange. Oh, I love how that turned out. And again, this is much simpler than some of the other books. That was with Copics. And then we also did this one. Don't think I got this one complete. No, I did. I did get it done. And again, that was with the Copics. That's right. I, I believe I did get both pictures completely done. That's a first for me. <laughs> Another Jade Summer book that I decided to color out of. Like I said, I wanted to give Jade Summer a little bit of love. This is the color by number patterns. I can't believe I haven't been coloring more out of this book. <laughs> but I did that one. Another gorgeous color palette. Oh, I love how that one turned out. And I did figure out the colors for Jade Summer with, again, the Art and Fly markers, my new markers that I got. So you can see I have figured out the colors for a number of different uh, color by number books, different illustrators, hence the need for some refills. <laughs> and if I can't get the refill color that I need, I have a lot of Copic uh, refills and some Spectro Noir refills. So I would think out of the three different sets of refills, I'll find something that comes close. <laughs> All right, another color in chat. I did have a request to color out of one of the color and create. So I chose volume two. Volume one, I have completed already. Volume two, I'm real close to completing. So colored out of here. Hold it up because it's really shiny. <laughs> this was with my Tan Mint Glitter Gel Pens. You know I love coloring my patterns always with glitter gel pens. That's all I ever use. Um, so got some of this done on camera but I finished it off camera and I like the way it turned out. I just kind of picked out some colors, you know, whether it was going to go together or not. But I've said in the past, you know, for mandalas and patterns, you can practically put any colors together that you want to. And they end up looking really nice when the picture's done. All right. Another 
uh, coloring picture that I started on camera was this one. We were coloring in this one, kind of started the border and wasn't real sure what I was going to do over here. Kind of do, wanted to do warm colors and cool colors. So that's what I ended up doing. Um, I just did greens and blues over here. Um, then I wasn't real sure what I wanted to do with the background, but because I used yellow, orange, red, and brown here, and blues and oranges, can you believe there's no purple? I know, right? The border, a uh, little bit of purple. Purple, pink, and teal, so I was really limited with regard to what colors I could use in the background that wouldn't blend in with the picture itself. So I decided to go with pastels. <laughs> Just to really contrast, kind of, I guess I'd never even noticed it, kind of uh, contrasting it to that one picture that uh, I did in a color and chat where I did the background, that stained glass picture, did the background with pastels. I'm not sure if I like it on this picture, though. <laughs> kind of, mm. um, And this was a poster that I had gotten from Stuff in, Stuff in Color? Stuff to Color? Stuff to Color. Um, and then uh, they had sent me a bunch of coloring packs, and I chose this, and then did that giveaway. So yeah, this is what that one turned out like. All right, and then a couple of diamond paintings I got done. I took a break from a couple of large ones that I am doing. And let's turn it up the right way. This is a special drill butterfly diamond painting. Look at that shine. Oh, it's so pretty. Love the colors in this. So we have this gorgeous blue, two shades of blue and teal butterfly in front of that pink flower. Yeah. So this is just a 30 by 30 partial. So it didn't take too long to do this at all. Then another butterfly that I did because I love monarch butterflies. I just love them. So again, just a partial. This one didn't take long at all because the whole background is painted on. So you just diamond paint the butterfly. And again, turned out so pretty and sparkly. And again, it's a 30 by 30. Uh, this is by... FG Normal. I don't know if I wrote down. No, I just started doing it when I uh, did that diamond painting so I could know who it was by. The only problem with that is I'll be cutting off the border when I frame it and put it in the scrapbook, which is what I do with all of my 30 by 30s. Um, I do have a video out there from quite a while back how I go about doing that. If you want me to do that again on camera, let me know in the comments below and I can do a video on that. So yeah, the two little beauty diamond paintings that I got done and then all of the books. Got a little bit more done. I say this every month, don't I? Uh, then I thought because I did quite a bit of diamond painting. Um, and I anticipate quite a bit of diamond painting this next month because of a project that hopefully I'm going to be starting shortly. Um, so yeah, might have quite a bit less coloring next month. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing what I all colored and diamond painted in February. If you did, please hit that like button. It really does help the channel. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know when I put out new videos. I hope everybody's having a terrific day. And as always, happy coloring and happy diamond painting. Bye guys. Thank you.